Gentleman from Louisiana, recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I rise in strong, vigorous support of H.R. 4105, and I want to commend Chairman Camp for his leadership in bringing this appropriate bill to the floor today. As a supporter of free and fair trade, I believe that U.S. companies and workers deserve a level playing field in order to successfully compete around the world. This bill restores commerce's ability to protect American jobs and companies from unfair WTO inconsistent practices, inconsistent trade practices perpetrated by non-market economies, mainly China and Vietnam. This is an important tool being used by several industries in my home state of Louisiana. The ability to use countervailing duties, uh, companies that produce steel pipe, aluminum extrusion, woven sack industries, just to name a few. More importantly, many key industries, such as shrimp processors, want to make sure that this tool remains in place in case they need to use it in the future to, to deal with untra unfair trade practices. Uh, Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record a letter from the American Shrimp Processors Association, a letter in support of this important legislation. Without objection. As our industries expand and compete for businesses around the world, it's irresponsible to not have these types of measures, enforcement measures in place, uh, and to take this vital tool away from the Department of Commerce. This has been a, a practice that is WTO compliant, we have used it for years, and now, because of a recent federal court ruling, it's been taken away. The bill simply amends the 1930 uh, Trade uh, Tariff Act to allow this WTO-compliant technique to be used to impose countervailing duties on non-market economies when they use unfair subsidies. Uh, it's fully consistent with our international trade obligations. It restores current practices. And, Madam Speaker, it's the right thing to do for American businesses and workers. I strongly encourage our colleagues in this House to support this important bill, and I yield back the balance of my time.